Howdy, howdy, y'all. Another week, another dollar. Welcome back to the channel. Well, me and Dad are going back to California. Um, uh, just south of Scranton, where we were, where we were last week. Um, we were in Redding. This we're going to Elk Grove. We do have a back call. I do not know what it is yet because guess what? We got to step back. Yeah. FYI, Happy New Year's. Uh, oh, it's chilly out. Uh. What's for dinner, Dad? Salad. Do what? Salad. Oh, okay. Is that that one I saw in the refrigerator? One of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got two of them. Uh. Oh, boy. Oh, we're here. So, cool thing about this place that we're headed to, um, we get to back in and go to bed. So, gotta undo the gate here. Super complicated method, massive hook, tons of weight. You know, yeah, that was the key. Well, we're working on the unload. They've got their method their way here. Uh, this is actually the second location we unload for these people. The other location is like, I don't know, two buildings that way. California Customs over here in Elk Grove. Nice place. Simple and easy. Doesn't look like we got a back call today, guys. So we'll be headed home after this. So quick and dirty this week. Quick and dirty. Also, <clears throat> to note, got the garage door guy coming this Saturday. Come to inspect the uh, the hole. So before they put the uh, order in, they can uh, uh, just look at the hole, I guess. I, I really don't know what's all involved. So. Y'all see it when I see it. I'll make sure you get it on camera. And like that, boys and girls, we are unloaded. Supposedly headed home, but we usually get our backhaul information. Well, y'all spoke too soon. <laughs> as we were leaving the customer, just as we were leaving, uh, we got to pick up two vehicles. One of them's a truck, and the other one's uh, for the loves down in Tula, Tula Air. There's some gloves, not the yellow ones, not the yellow ones. Uh, these are my old ones. Hey, I'll use my old ones, we're good. Let's get things set up. I'm in Barstow. <laughs> no, I'm not in Barstow. I'm in Kingman, Arizona. Just got fuel, got new company merch thanks to Christmas. News update, um, me and dad are um, reloaded with not one, but two cars. One's going to Oklahoma City. Um, I think I've already told you guys this already, but, and the second one is going to um, Fairview, Tennessee. Our uh, inverter's been acting up on us, shuts off randomly, not giving us any notice or any warning cooler quits working that ain't good well, howdy it's dead hey have you noticed that uh, the ap uh, the alternator the inverter has been shutting off on us um it was off i yeah it did it earlier about two hours ago Tried to reach around there to see if it was unplugged. But no, no, I reached over there to turn the inverter on. Oh. Yeah. 
Wow. I was like, what the crap? Because I saw the power was off. I was like, oh, I was looking for the power cord myself. And then I looked down, and I'm like, oh, the inverter's not on. Hit the button, it kept powered up. Hmm. Has the inverter or the alternator been doing the thing again? No. It hasn't. The only thing that's a problem, we have no bright lights. The switch ain't working. Yeah, has it been? Try it. It worked. Huh? Check engine light's gone. Yeah. Do it again. This just needs to be reset. It wasn't, work, it wasn't working the last hour. Oh, well. That's... Remember what we uh, what we did was we shut the lights off completely and then turn them back on to hit the brights again? Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, it's, it's a thing with Peterbilt. If it ain't working, shut it off, turn it back on. Well, it didn't make it too far. I got like five miles on the road. I got a, a, a sign on the billboard saying that the uh, uh, road was shut down over there at Ash City in uh, Arizona, all the way to Flagstaff, and a little bit outside of Flagstaff. Um, so what me and Dad are going to do is, done agreed to doing it, is uh, uh, we want to drop down to Phoenix and um, through 93, because I'm here at the exit right now for 93 to go south. And once I go south to 93, um, on 93, I'll be able to run um, I-10 all the way to Las Cruces. And then I'll be able to cut north from Las Cruces. I'm not taking 25. I'm going to hop on, uh, I guess it's 61 or 71. I don't remember. Anyways, it runs all the way to Armagordo. Um, I've taken that route many a time. 62 out of Texas is what it is, but it changed, changes hands in New Mexico. Um, the road does. It changes name, really. And then it runs through um, Roswell, seeing the aliens. And then we hop back up on 40 uh, in and around Amarillo on 27 somewhere. Hey guys, I'm over here, Las Cruces at the TA. And uh, boy, I tell you, this morning I've been seeing DOT left and right. I've seen seven this morning, seven trucks on the uh, eastbound side being pulled over, excuse me, westbound side. As I'm getting out to getting fuel, I was, I was wondering why my, my, my tires looked funny. But here's what happened. This sucker was low, like it was low, low, like low, 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 low. It's pooching out. It was still on the bead, thankfully. And thankfully, the shop's like right over there, but this is a quicker, quicker fix. So, uh, but I've got a uh, air pressure gauge in the truck. It's starting to sound the same. And what it is, is, you know, if you know, that's about 120 PSI coming from the truck. That's been running now for about seven or eight minutes. And it'll eventually level out, but uh, it, it takes it a minute to get to the 120 PSI. I'm gonna do my best to film this. Okay, here we go. Ooh, how you doing? Okay, here it is. <laughs> Sorry guys, there we go. So, so, this is plastic I'm feeling, not metal. That's why I don't like them. They get about one or two good sticks in them and they're done. This is close to 105. Come on, focus, focus. A little over 100 PSI, 100, yeah, it's 100. We're here at the uh, customer delivering this bat car. And uh, it's actually just a drop yard, that's all it is. Fancy drop yard with a gate and a, you know, dude with security guard. So, you know, just getting some photos. Gotta make sure nothing is damaged and all that jazz. Got it unloaded, sitting right over there. Now I gotta get the security guard to sign off my paperwork. Well, digital e-sign. That's how we do it. Makes it easy. Well, we're here. 
they're already delivered and the customer's back there waiting in that white car so we gotta be quick let's take some photos before i unload this thing all righty there goes dad we are unloaded over here right outside of the 840 and uh, on i-40 um we decided dad's gonna take over for the last four hour ride home really it's like two and a half to almost three well y'all back at the yard we're home I, I planned on sleeping but i got to yakking with dad and sort of a waking zombie mode i guess sit in the pasture seat and i just yak about crazy stuff he's in a good mood i'm in a good mood we're all going home so usually you know it, it makes us stay awake a little bit more or at least i do because he's excited and i can feel this positive excitement but anyways we're gonna call this video good here and uh i'll see you guys at the house probably in the next video because tomorrow i have the um uh garage guy coming start baby Ooh.